Welcome back to the meta. At PAX South this year, we were on the hunt for new games uh, to pick our interest. Last week, we showed you Splitgate, a Halo Portal type crossover. And this week, we'll be showing you Fantasy Strike. You know, I checked out Fantasy Strike myself, and it really is a love letter to fighting game fans and newbies alike. The game focuses on being accessible, easy to pick up, and difficult, of course, difficult to master. So important for the fighting game genre. It's developed by one of the OGs of the fighting game scene, a deeply passionate fighting game fanatic by the name of David Serlin. Without further ado, this is Fantasy Strike. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with David. I just finished playing Fantasy Strike. This game is kind of awesome, man. Uh, tell us a little bit about Fantasy Strike. So Fantasy Strike is a, a fighting game, obviously, and I have a lot of background in fighting games. Uh, I was the lead developer of Street Fighter HG Remix. Uh, I, I helped uh, run EVO a long time ago. I was top eight at EVO three times. So. I'm really hardcore. Uh, I've been in the FGC as, as a competitor, uh, as a tournament organizer, you know, as a game developer, all sides of it. And Fantasy Strike is, is me taking what I think is fun about fighting games that I, I know about and giving it to the rest of the world. Now, on the one hand, because I am come from such a hardcore background, this is, believe it or not, a hardcore game. You know, it's an eSport game. It's actually made for tournaments and there's a, there's a lot of little nuances in it that are the way they are specifically for competitive play in tournaments. Uh, and it's, it's a game for me to uh, enjoy playing, you know, not get bored of, right? But at the same time, what we're trying to do is really speed up the onboarding process. Like the part going from zero to competence, yeah. make that as fast as possible and not waste your time. You don't have to worry about joystick inputs, uh, like quarter circles and dragon punches and all that. Combos themselves are, are easy. That may be controversial, but it's really about, can you get in the position to land the combo? And the decisions that go into, you know, being able to land the combo, not the actual execution. The life bar is in chunks. Did you notice that? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's unusual. So that's just to make it more readable. Like you have six hit points, uh, a jumping combo, like jump, attack, land, attack, fireball, something like that. Three hits, three damage. Yeah. Before you even do it, if they have three hit points, you know you're gonna kill. Understandable. There's a move list that fits on the screen and one screen that you can get with annotations that tells you what it's all for. To say like, here's your whole character on one screen. Uh, we've even included tutorial videos in the game itself where I narrate for every character what all their moves are, how they work, all their properties, and their basic strategy to, to get you going. So it's, I could go on and on, but you get the idea. It's a lot of stuff to get you to the real game quickly. I think any competitive game wants to be like the staple at all the community run yeah. events. Like, you know, not not us doing yeah. it, but that people would want people to do it. Take it on, yeah. People take it on. So so I mean, those those things are the dream, but those things only happen with community support. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Uh, had a blast playing this game. Uh, it's not often that you pick up a game, a fighting game for the first time and you're like, wow, okay, I get it. These are the moves and I'm having fun. Like that ramp on was amazing. Uh, really, really hoping that the community really picks this up because this is this is fantastic. Thank you so much again. Yeah, and just to build on your last point, another thing that's so fun for me is that if I watch you play, for example, I could give you tips for one minute or five minutes and you can immediately implement those tips. Yeah. You don't need to go to training yeah. mode. Yeah. I, so I, I can train you I noticed quickly. that, I noticed yeah. that. Um, it was with some of the characters and some of the um, specific uses of their roles. Um, um, someone was over my shoulder like, hey, okay, so this character, uh, you know, you want to dive in. This character is more like Zangief, so, you know, this is what you want to do. And instantly, I was like, okay, cool, cool. So that is awesome. I yeah. I, yeah. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's cool, man. Thank you so much for your time. Guys, definitely check it out. Okay, so it looks like we've made it to the end of this episode. Tom, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you, Tom, uh, for being a part of the show. Uh, we hear you guys like bloopers, so here it is, a highlight reel of no, our weekly mess up. Don't show it. You you did really well, but we're gonna show it. Thank you guys so much. Show it. Peace. Bye-bye. 
I thought the yeah. entire time I'd just be like, <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> tour. The nope. Now piranha plant man. Um, nope, not man. Main. Main. I think you should be a piranha plant, plant man. So I so feel like basically I feel like Buck and Bot. Like I have taken on Buck. <laughs> basically, I was like. I feel good about this. <laughs> Let me just destroy All it. All smash related. <laughs> you should definitely not wait. I should not wait. Yeah. You can get him that as a Christmas gift. Well, that doesn't make sense. I'll just say a gift. In more official, legit news. Actually, no, that's that's coming up wrong. All right. That was a show. That was a show. We did television, everyone.